Happy Halloween everyone and welcome to another Supreme Update video. Now this is one is uh, quite special as we've got some new items on the value list which is uh, a first for quite a while and all the godlies that came with this year's Halloween update have officially been added to the value list which is uh, very cool to see. So in this video we're going to be covering not only the values for the brand new items but also changes that have happened to the old ones and trust me there's a lot of them this time. If you guys do enjoy this video uh, please be sure to uh, leave a like and subscribe. I make these videos to just inform you guys of the value changes so you guys know what you're doing so I'd appreciate any support on it. And uh, yeah, it just means so much. We're on the road to 20k subs after all. So yeah, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get right into this. It's so weird seeing new items on here. Like, I'm so used to just starting with Karab. But anyway, let's get right into this. So starting off with a Chroma Candle Flame. That has been given a value of 3,850. Uh, with a Demand of 9 and a Rare Year 10. And it's also getting overpaid. So yeah, Chroma Candle Flame, I'm pretty sure is the new, like, high yeah, it definitely is. It's the new highest valued item in the game. Uh, and it might even be the only one with Rarity 10. I'm not entirely sure, though, so don't quote me on that. I, I, I think it might be. I'm not entirely sure, though. But, yeah, it is uh, very, very high up. And it's 3,850, but it also gets overpaid. So, yeah. Now, passing it, I gave three Chroma sets for it, which I know that is an L, but I just I was really desperate for one. I'm not sure how long it'll keep being good for. However, some good news is uh, a lot of the Jupin, uh, what's it called, clients have actually been patched. Meaning that uh, there's a lot less duping happening right now, which means these uh, items actually can't be duped as much. And they're also banning people that have more than like 10 of any of these. So these are pretty much impossible to dupe at the moment. Uh, and a lot of the previous ones were deleted. So yeah, that's pretty good for these items. It means they'll keep their rarity. Uh, and then we've also got Harvester, which is 835. Demand is 8, rarity 7, and it's also overpaid for. So Harvester, definitely not as good as Chroma Candle Flame, but it's still really good. Uh, rarity 7, Demand 8. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty fair for it. And then finally, Candle Flame is the worst one. It's uh, 565, Demand 7, Rarity is 5, and it's fluctuating. Uh, the reason it's uh, the worst one is just because it, it's not too hard to unbox. Like, I mean, I say that. It's still fairly hard. But yeah, there's been a lot of unboxed ones, and then it was getting duped uh, quite a bit. I don't know how many of the previous dupes are gone now. But yeah, it, it is, uh, it's still doing pretty well, though. 565, that's uh, more than Candy Set, but a bit less than Corrupt. It's not getting overpaid though, it's fluctuating, which basically means it, it gets anything really. Now moving on to Corrupt, we've had another rise, uh, not another demand drop luckily. Uh, and by the way, just to clear up uh, the last value update video, when I said Corrupt drop, I meant the demand and rarity uh, dropped, but not the value. The thing is, the value of Corrupt doesn't really matter because like it just gets mass overpay anyway. So even though it's increased to 750, it's like most people were already trading it for way more than 750, so... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, Corrupt, another increase there to 750. Should get to 1,000 soon, probably. Now moving on to Ancients, we've got Elderwood Scythe, which has increased to 140, and it's no longer underpaid, it's stable. So Elderwood Scythe has uh, recovered, luckily, which, uh, yeah, I, I, I saw this coming. I, I thought it would uh, recover like Candy Set did, but yeah, we've got a recovery of that. Now moving on to Log Chopper, that's increased to 135. Its demand's up as well, so Log Chopper's still doing really well, which is good. Uh, Icebreaker has also increased, and Icewing has increased, and its demand's gone up, so... Yeah, uh, every Ancient except Hallow Scythe and, of course, Batwing has actually increased, which is uh, pretty good to see. They've been dropping a lot of the previous updates, so it's good to see some increases. Now, moving into uh, Vintages, which, uh, if you guys remember the last value update, uh, some of the rarities uh, went up. But this time, we've actually got values going up. So, uh, the America has been given 60, its demand's up, and it's no longer underpaid, it's fluctuating. Same with Golden, it's up to 50, and it's fluctuating, and then Blood it's, it itself has increased to 45. So, yeah, some uh, vintage rise, that's really good to see. Uh, hopefully, they should uh, continue to recover like Chromas did, and yeah, hopefully, eventually, they can all be stable. Now, moving on to the Chromas themselves, of course. Um, again, every single one has increased. There's no demand or rarity or stability changes. It's all just value uh, has increased. And, I mean, yeah, this is going to probably keep happening for a while. I'm not sure when Chromas will stop, but right now, they're doing a lot better than small sets, so... Yeah, keep on, keep on getting your Chromas, I guess. But uh, to name a few, Chroma Dartbringer and Lightbringer are up to 185 each. Luger's not far behind at 170. Then you've got Gemstone at 160, Heat at 155, and the Laser at 150. The rest of there, if you want to read them, you can pause the video. Now moving into uh, Godlies, we've got Red Luger has increased to 145. I don't think it uh, rose last update, so it's good to see it's rose again. Another 10 value, I believe. Uh, Jingle Gun has also increased. So yeah, again, the Etzmas Godlies seem to be doing quite well at the moment. Elder Revolver has also increased with Elderwood Scythe. It's 115 now. Uh, then we've got Eternal Cane, which has increased again. Its demand's also up. Uh, as I've been saying, Eternal Cane says making its uh, recovery. And uh, another demand rise, which is really good to see. Luca Cane has also increased. Its demand's gone up. Eternal 4 has increased, and it's no longer underpaid for. Eternal 4, after such a long time, has finally made its full recovery. It is now stable. So, yeah, that's really good to see. Uh, another Eternal Rise. Uh, no other Eternal Rise, though. Just Eternal Cane and Eternal 4. I was hoping to see some... 
uh, rises from the other ones, but uh, I guess not. Now moving on to a mirror laser that's been reduced to 100, but it's no longer decreasing, it's just underpaid for. So yeah, a mirror laser, blaster, all glory, and virtual, so the virtual and OG sets seem to have stopped. Uh, they've all reduced one more time and they're underpaid for. If you want to read the exact values, feel free to pause the video, but yeah, that's basically it for them. Uh, Clockwork has reduced to 90, so yeah, Clockwork needed another drop, I guess. Uh, Luger has increased to 75, which is uh, really good. Luger's making its recovery. Uh, I mean, it kind of recovered last time. It went stable, but now it's increased again, which is good. Uh, Minty has also increased, but Log Chopper, 75, demands free. Uh, Battle Axe 2 has reduced to 73. Uh, it's been decreasing for a while now. I don't know why it took this long for it to stop decreasing, but now it's just underpaid for. Uh, luckily, it didn't drop nearly as far as Batwing did, but yeah, it's 73 underpaid for now. Pretty bad. Uh, Halo Gun has increased to 65. And then finally, Hallow's Edge has reduced to 65. So, yeah, Hallow Gun's doing good, but Hallow's Edge is still doing awful. It, it's literally awful. Uh, and then final three, we've got uh, Chill, which has increased to 60. Uh, Handsaw has increased to 55. I've been saying these two will rise uh, because at this point, like, any godlies that previously had no demand are starting to recover. So, yeah, Chill and Handsaw are at the forefront of that, really. And then finally, Nebula has increased to 35. So, yeah, Nebula's still doing really well, much better than any other shop godly, which is very cool to see. Um, by the way, Nebula is not actually off sale yet, because you can still buy the Game Pass for it. I don't know if the Game Pass still works, but I'm not going to be the one to test that. So, even though it's out of the shop, you can still buy the Game Pass. Uh, now we move on to collectibles. So, uh, Cotton Candy is increased to 200, uh, which is, yeah, Cotton Candy's still rising. Now, it is one uh, that I kind of saw coming for a little while, but it's now actually happened. Uh, JD has recovered. Um, it's now 195, it's demands up to 5, and it's no longer underpaid for, it's rising again, so... Yeah, JD's rising again, and because the Jupin thing has been fixed, then it will probably take a couple weeks for it to get back going again, uh, hopefully. I, I don't know how long it'll take, maybe it'll be a couple days, but yeah, um, that means that uh, JD should be able to rise for quite a while, which is uh, quite good. Uh, Ghost Knife is also uh, increased to 150, but its demand's gone down, it's no longer rising, it's just doing well. Uh, Ginger Gun has also had its demand increase, it's no longer stable, it's doing well. Now moving on to our rares, uh, the Kane set has increased, it's 155 each now. Uh, the Ginger uh, collectible set has also increased. It's 145 now. Uh, Jack has increased to 125, and its demand's up to 4. Uh, and then we've got Toxic Knife, which has increased to 90. The Vampire Gun has increased to 65. Orange Marble has uh, increased to 30, and it's now doing well. Toxic Gun has increased to uh, 20, but it's no longer doing well. It's stable. And then Vampire Knife has increased to 20, and again, it's no longer doing well. It is now stable. Now moving on to these ones, uh, we've got Snowman Knife has uh, changed from underpaid for to fluctuating, that's the same with the gun. Uh, it'll probably start to make a little bit of recovery, it went underpaid very quickly after rising, but yeah, hopefully it'll start making a recovery, it's now fluctuating. Uh, Gift is increased to 104, it's man's up to 7, so yeah, Gifted's doing really well uh, still. Uh, the Rap Set has increased to 125 each, uh, Moons has increased to uh, 30, Wolf has increased to 20, Vampire has increased to 25, its demand is now 5, and it's now doing well. Uh, finally, now moving into the, uh, comp not finally, we still have pets, but, uh, Passion is, uh, reduced to 215, it's no longer fluctuating, it's now underpaid for, so yeah, Passion has died, uh, completely now, it's now underpaid for. Blossom is also, uh, stopped decreasing, it's now just underpaid for, 195, so, yeah, Passion and Blossom are doing horribly right now, unfortunately. Uh, Tulip has increased, it's demand's also up, Glitch has increased, it's demand's also up, uh, Hearts is reduced to 190, and then we've got Sweetheart reduced, uh, Patrick increased, Rose is reduced, Bunny increased, school reduced, uh, and it's also fluctuating. And then we've got Choco has increased, Egg has increased, Neon has increased, TNL has increased, uh, the Ornament 2 set has increased, and the normal Ornament set has increased. Not the normal, just the, you know, like, Ornament 1 set. Yeah, Ornament 1 set. And then finally, Goo has increased to 40. Uh, now moving on to the pets, just to finish off with. Uh, there we go. Okay, so Purple Pumpkin, it's now 200, but its demand's gone down, so... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been seeing as much hype for Purple Pumpkin, so that doesn't really surprise me. Uh, Blue Pumpkin has increased to 90, though. Uh, the Heart Pet is reduced to 90, which, I, I, honestly, they should just put it at one value at this point. I, <laughs> Frostbird is reduced to 80. Uh, Phoenix is reduced to 70, and its demand's also at 1, so Phoenix is just done. Uh, Red Pumpkin is increased to 70. Steambird is reduced to 68, its demand's down to 1. Sammy has reduced to 65, its demand's down to 1. Electra has reduced to 60, but demand's down to 1, so... Basically, all the godly uh, pets that go with, like, the OG and V set and the Clockwork set, they're all down to one demand now, so, yeah, that's not very good. Green Pumpkins increased to 45. Jetstream increased to 40. The Overseer Eye increased to 15. And then we've actually got another... Well, it's not a new item, but it's an item that's been added to the value list. The Fairy Pet. 
Uh, that's been given 10 at demand for rarity 5 and it's doing well. Uh, if you don't know what the fairy pet is, it was a pet that was uh, in the store like a, a while ago. Uh, I don't know how when it was in the store, but it was in the store for like 500 coins for a limited time. Tanky has been reduced to 10 and then Vampire's Bat has increased to 3. Finally finishing off with the miscellaneous. Uh, the mitts, uh, I mean, the bots of Ultra Wrap has reduced to 415. It's long, lo no longer underpaid for, I mean, uh, overpaid for. It is now just fluctuating. So, yeah, Ultra Wrap has died. Uh, the gold papers has been reduced again. Uh, the green papers has increased, though, and the bots of fertilizer has increased. Finally, finishing off the sets. Uh, all the, I'm not going to say, like, every single individual one, but all the chroma sets have increased, obviously. And then we've got corrupt set at 825. Uh, then all the, uh, the OG and virtual sets have also uh, decreased, obviously, and then Elderwood set is now stable. Uh, Eternal Kane set has increased. Uh, Log Chopper set has increased. Hallow set increased. Uh, and then Ice set reduced. Um, wait, why did it reduce? Because I thought Icebreaker... Uh, okay, I'm not sure. 8-Bit set reduced. Uh, Clockwork set uh, reduced. Uh, Easter set increased. And then we've got Snowman set. It's been changed from underpayful to fluctuating. Kane set has increased. Ginger set rare has increased. Uh, the wrap set has increased. Jack set increased. Ornament 2 set increased. Ornament set 1 increased. Ghost legendary set uh, increased, but now doing well instead of overpaid for. Toxic set increased. Vampire set increased. And uh, two more sets. We've got the Aora set. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but Aora, I think. Uh, that's 10. Demands 5 doing well. And then Candy Swell set has been given 8. Uh, and then Demand 4 doing well. And then finally... Small set is actually, uh, it's no longer under, uh, un, uh, decreasing. It's now fluctuating and it's increased to 6,000. The reason is, is because Harvester and Candle Flame have been added to small set. So that's why it's not because, I mean, I don't think small set's making any kind of recovery. But uh, yeah, it is now just uh, fluctuating instead of decreasing just because of those two new items. But if you're doing a small set without the two, I'd still say it would be marked as uh, decreasing. And then Wrapping Paper set is uh, reduced. Ancient set is reduced, full Valentine set reduced, Valentine set reduced, uh, and then we've got, uh, what's it called? Oh no, Ancient set increased, my bad. And then uh, full Luger set increased, Luger set increased, Gaudy pet set uh, reduced, Pumpkin set increased, Eternal set increased, Vintage set increased, and the full coloured set increased. So yeah, that's all the updates. Uh, quite a long one. Uh, a lot of changes, a lot of recoveries, a lot of, uh, you know, just items going down. And yeah, the new items are doing really well. And since uh, the Jupin uh, clients have been fixed for the most part, and there's not many of them left, hopefully they'll uh, continue to do quite well. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe. It does really mean the world to me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.